complainers. Hey, our people was murmuring in the wilderness. They was complaining. Like, what the? A nigga is gonna complain. He got food though. Ain't praising the Lord for that water to wash your ass and drink. Complaining about that. Niggas, man. Hey, just to put that in the context, they, they were complaining after having already seen these miracles. Yeah, yep. yep. You know, put that in the context. You know what I'm saying? Part, part, part of the Red Sea. Part of the Red Sea. Wow. I mean, delivering them from the plagues while, while the heathens were suffering. Right. You know? And they still had the audacity to, to after witnessing the part of the Red Sea. Right. After, uh, the Most High let them spoil the Egyptians. Yep. Coming out with arrows, headdress, and everything. Looking like Mr. T in the ancient world. Think about it. Now, that's how they broke that fucking golden gap, but just to put it into context, the Most High let them see all this for them to still disbelieve after they were free, you know? These niggas still say that you bring us over here to die. Yeah, man. After all that. Jay, peculiar in heat. So did Jay go and blame us? Like, oh, it's, it's your all fault because we're the main ones dying of this fucking bullshit. But no, you're not dying, you stupid ass niggas. Eating swine is killing your dead ass. Eating shrimp. Hey, uh, oh my god. Uh, uh, I don't know if you're about to know, but this is a new series just dropped on Netflix. It says it's about how African American cuisine has changed America. And you know, you know where all the shit was going on over here. I did not sell you to your enemies for destruction, right. but because we moved the Lord to wrath, right. we were sold into the enemies, right. but not to be here forever. Hey, he said the same thing to Abraham. Your seed is going to be in a foreign land, ancient Egypt. He's like, but after that time, I'm going to destroy those that oppress you. The same story is playing out now. All the same they're going to know all this happened. That's right. So as the brothers talking about, I can't wait until the most high flips the script. That's right. And puts it into their mind that the reason we were at the bottom and under these heathens is because we said it had nothing to do with them, right. and how powerful they were, right. so called, you know? Hey, hey, that's beautiful how that you said that because you got these fucking other nations at the summits and all that. Mm. Well, where's Israel's seat in there? I mean, real right. Israel, not the fucking state right. of terrorists and yeah. rats. And, and everybody's scared about the chariots like they're appearing all over. So, 
So the only ones who know about that is Israel. Right. And you know how they be like, well, we have to they, we have to go to the table for the Iran nuclear deal. They ain't coming to the table with us because they ain't no deal. That's right. The chairs is going to destroy your ass. That's what it is. That's the possibility. Yeah, it is. No negotiations. No negotiations. Yep. Ain't no way out of it. Hostility is imminent. You're going to be destroyed. We're going to meet you in the Middle East. That's right. And like uh, Elder uh, Ariola from Dallas said, uh, all these reports are coming out from the Pentagon about UFO disclosure. A report came out that they didn't start getting serious about the UFOs until 2007. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, 2007 is when Great Millstone got on YouTube and started speaking the truth. Is that a coincidence? Mm -hmm. Check that out. <laughs> Check that out. And who came on the scene when they so-called was trying to get into outer space? Abba, 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 Abba was on the scene yeah. when they was trying to get out into the heaven. And then the Lord said, once you try to get out there, this will I bring thee down. And then going into 07 till now, yeah. that's when they really start going into yeah. the old archives, the old shit of these yeah. things really out there. Was breaking that down. That's and weird. for those who don't know, just for edification, the Russians tried it first and failed. Their men came back down and tried up vegetables. So Esau had to, you know, use his deception and witchcraft to make it seem like he got up there, but he never been on the moon and all that. And that's cool because in Revelation it tells you that the uh, defeat was there, which is Russia. That was the end. That's the end of Esau, yep. and that's gonna be the one of the main major players to destroy Babylon. So the Russians were the first to get out there, and they left Babylon. And they out there and Babylon destroyed them because of that. says in, uh, in verse 17, but beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostle of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time. So the people going to mock, they going to scoff, like, ha, ha, yeah. Right. Yeah, aliens. Yeah. Well, who's out there? And then I remember the one dude on the uh, video that Elder Yashimam put on, he's like, we're, we are ignorant or naive to believe that we're the only thing that exists yeah. out here. There's something out there that exists beyond us. Yeah. He said we are naive to think that we're the only uh, presence in the universe.